Queridos, queridos, o mejor dicho, queridísimos. Dear, amigos. or rather very dear friends. Algunos de los que me precedieron. ¿no? Some of the speakers who preceded me. O fue Bob. Eh, decía que algunos se preguntaban. I said that some of them were wondering. ¿Por qué me recibían en esta Why was iglesia? it that I was being welcomed in this church? <laughs> y él contó interesantes anécdotas And he told very de la vez que me habían llevado a, a la otra iglesia. Of, uh, the other, the day they the other Sobre eso debo hablar también. I should speak about that too tonight. <risa> pero, yo, pero es que no solo algunos de ustedes. But it happens that not only some of you, but que me recibían a mí. I was also wondering why I was being welcomed like this. It is that I myself, while I was getting dressed to come here tonight, I got rid of the business suit. Me puse esta ropa que es la que había usado I got rid of my business suit and then I went into this fatigues which I have been wearing for so many years. I have been wearing this till international diplomacy has forced no me mucho not very long ago a ponerme una guayabera. to wear a guayabera. Pero descubrí But then I discovered que yo no tenía una sola that I did not have only one guayabera. Me then I had to borrow one. No sé gente. They mobilized I don't know how many tailors in order to have uh, some guayaberas cut for me. Por la noche. That was in the midnight. Me tenía que ir al otro día. I was supposed to leave on that trip me the next day. Por la mañana. I tried it in the morning. Y realmente estaba tan And actually it did not amplia. fit. It was so big. Que yo en, en broma. It was so big that as a joke. Le dije a los amigos, I said to my friends. Look, me refería a una persona. I mentioned a person con la que he tenido contradicciones. With whom I have had some contradictions. Pero que al que pude a la que pude conocer. But también, somebody I was able to meet uh, later and he's not a bad person. Era presidente de un país. He was the president of a country. Latinoamericano. Of a Latin American country. Y yo le dije, oígame. And he was fat. Ustedes me han hecho la guayabera del so, gordo tal. So I said to the tailor, you have tailored that guayabera for that man and not for Corre, me. Recorta. It was broad like this. Pero me tuve que poner la guayabera. But I had to wear it nonetheless. <laughs> Después le cuento un amigo, una familia. After that I said it to a friend. Que tenía to a family una hija who happened to have a daughter who's a designer Holland, in Holland she had studied Esa in Europe that family had had relations with Cuba for a long Yo time que que no I told them that I discovered that I did not have any civilian clothes so servicios. they offered me her services that family and then she designed some suits for me bueno, en realidad, me hicieron como, well, actually, como tres o cuatro. she prepared about three to, or four suits for me. Le But que no I sabía assure nada, you that nada, I nada. did not know anything about suits. Ni, ni la tela. Not, nothing about the clothes. Ni la camisa. Or the uh, shirt. Ni la corbata. Or the tie. Ni los yugos. Or the couplings. You know, I did not know anything. <laughs> Unos zapatos de punta. And the shoes, very uncomfortable los, shoes. Los pies míos no estaban acostumbrados a eso. You know, I was not used to that. Tenía unas viejas botas. I had my old boots. Media <laughs> raídas ya. Somewhat old and uh, 
No por pobreza, not because I was poor, sino por costumbre. but because I was in the habit of, we of wearing my old boots. Tanto cariño, mis botas, they were que so no me las... comfortable, you know, that I did not want to leave them for a new pair of shoes. Quería quitar. Y entonces, por fin terminé. Finally, eh, con I ended up guayabera. dressed in a guayabera. In his business Bordata, suit, with a tie, camisa, with a shirt, yugo, with the cufflinks, zapato, with shoes. Que no me los pongo porque I'm not wearing them no now. <laughs> I don't like them much, you know. Y por fin, bueno, y ahora soy un honorable caballero. And now I am an honorable gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> en las reuniones cumbre y a cada rato hay una reunión cumbre bueno once ya once in a while there are summit conferences and I have to dress up like an honorable gentleman in a business suit la reunión sobre desarrollo social there was another summit on uh, social y, development que si París and in Paris I had to pay a visit to that country to claro, France en todos los lugares me bajo con este. In every place, you know, I t I uh, leave the plane wearing cambio. my fatigues. Las visitas, and then I change for museos, those protocol todo. visits. I wear my business suits. Y entonces, bien. No sé si me he ido civilizando. I don't know if it is because I'm becoming more civilized. Pero tampoco quería dar la impresión y ayudar que yo fuera a aparecer como un señor militar allí o algo de eso que yo no estudié esa carrera you know I did not study the career of looking like a gentleman in a business suit a mí no me quedó más remedio que I only had uh, to do it tener que luchar and I did not study to be a politician I had to tener que aprender I had to learn the trade y, along the way hicimos algunas guerras y lo interesante es que las ganamos. And the interesting thing is that we wage a battle and we won. <laughs> la nuestra era muy difícil, pero no le voy a hacer esa historia. It is very difficult, but I'm not going to tell you that old story. Pero llegamos a ser muy poquito. But there was a time in which we were only a few. A veces menos de diez. Sometimes there was a time in which we were less than ten. Sometimes we were twelve. Pero nuestros adversarios eran como But our adversaries, y al final en 25 though there were many, in 25 months, nuestra revolución venció our revolution was victorious. Lo venció de manera total. En combate, había... We won in the open battles. Y We were in the guerrilla forces. Una and de then with a combination irregular. of irregular war. El We learned the trade of uh, guerrilla warfare. Pero nos gustó a... Aquella ropa y nos quedamos con But we ella, liked yo. those fatigues that we wore yo, at that cierto, time. Me decir, me, me cómodo, And as no I, have, I felt so moda. comfortable in those fatigues, I kept wearing them all bueno, these years. Les contaba well, que fui al hotel. anyway, I was telling no, you the story. No. <laughs> no, no. I went to the hotel, not to the hotel, excuse no, en la misión de la embajada. me. I went to the Cuban no mission to wear this uh, fatigue, to go back into my fatigues because I had been wearing the business suit before. Porque yo decía, Because I said to myself, si la otra vez fui con esta ropa, if the last time I went to Harlem I was wearing my fatigues, ¿cómo me voy a aparecer en Harlem, how come I'm going to go to Harlem vestido dressed de in a business suit? Pensaba en estas cosas, pero I, de repente se me ocurrió pensar lo I was thinking que about this, but after that I started thinking what I said before. ¿Qué hago yo en Harlem? What am I going to do in Harlem? Esta noche. What am I going to do there tonight? ¿Qué hago? What shall I do? ¿Qué digo? What shall I say? Porque yo 
Bueno, en las Naciones Unidas puedo Because decir algunas cosas. I can say a few things at the United Nations. Pero aquí no tenemos inmunidad para But here we don't have nosotros. immunity to go into certain subjects. Tengo demasiado allí soy cuidadoso. There I have to be careful. Aquí también lo tengo que ser. But here I have to be cautious Nadie too. Nadie vaya a pensar. Nobody should believe que yo me mezclo en los asuntos that I'm uh, uh, interfering in internal affairs of this country. Y yo le juro que no me voy a mezclar en nada que no sea justo. I swear that I'm not going to get mixed up in anything that is not public. Pero, pero algunas cosas abstractas, genéricas, medio Only some medio abstract, some genetic things, some philosophy. Pero, ¿qué digo? I said, what shall I say to them? ¿De qué hablo? What shall I speak about? Entonces me recordé que sí que Then I remembered tenía cosas que decir. that yes, I had things to tell you. Tenía cosas de que I had things to talk to you about. Sin violar ninguna ley. Without breaking any law. <laughs> Sin caer en una corte jurisdiccional. Without having to be taken to a court. Aunque espero que en ese caso ustedes me vayan a visitar. So I hope that in that case you will go to visit me. Pero es que recortaba tanto aquellos días. I was really recalling tanto, those days. Y con tanta You know, gratitud. those days were coming back to my memory. Y yo decía, tengo que venir. I remember with such appreciation those days in which I was here in this neighborhood. Tengo que venir a saludar I a said to myself, hermanos. I have to go there and say hello to those Harlem, people. Because it was in Harlem. Y junto con ellos, a los hermanos, where I have to go and visit there. And together with them, the Latin American, Puerto Rico, the Puerto Rican brothers and sisters. Y algunos hablaron. And some have, have been spoken here. Había eventos, había cosas. Ayer, ayer creo que había una, una I comida. think that yesterday there was a dinner. Yo creo que el alcalde dijo que yo yes, era un demonio. Yes, but I think the mayor said that I was a demon. No se le podía invitar a and that a demon comida. could not be invited to dinner. Voy a pasar hambre el I said, I'll go hungry the first day on New York. After that, I was told that there would be a concert. Pero que a las that the United Nations was extending the invitations. Pero la orquesta era de la alcaldía. But the orchestra was under the mayor. La alcaldía dijo, And the mayor seemed to have said, de manera, no way, podía tocar donde the orchestra demonio, cannot play if the demon is in the hall. Sí. Lo insólito. It's really incredible. <laughs> una, una familia amistosa. It's outrageous because here there is a friendly family. Rica. A wealthy family and a group of uh, businessmen me invited me last night for dinner. Al They invited the demon. Paradojas. It's a paradoxic. Y and we should be happy. Son más. Because there are many more. Los que The people who understand that the blockade absurdas. and all those things are obsolete, son cosas locas. that those are crazy things. Y muchos hombres de empresa and many businessmen se oponen hoy al are bloqueo. today opposed to the blockade. Y luchan contra el and they are striving against the blockade in their own way. Ahora bien, 
Yo no estoy aquí. Now I am not here. Porque no me hayan invitado a una comida. Because they did not invite me to dinner tonight. Ayer, ayer. Or yesterday. Ni estoy aquí. Nor am I here. Porque no me hubieran because invitado I had not been invited hoy. to dinner tonight. No, hoy hay comida también. Today there is a dinner. Y yo estoy excluido. I have been excluded. No por ser demonio. Not ya because no I am a demon. Tan mal como I have not demonio. been so ill treated tonight. Pero bueno. Eh, no sé. I don't know. Si, si perjudico. If it is because eh, cualquier actividad política. I hurt a political activity if I am esto. present. I don't know. Pero si me hubieran invitado. But if I had been invited. A la alcaldía. To the mayorship. Tenía que ir por elemental. I would have had to attend out of mere courtesy. Si me hubieran invitado. If I had been invited. A la filarmónica. To the philharmonic orchestra. Hubiera tenido que ir. To the concert, I would have had to attend cortesía, for reasons of elementor, elementary courtesy de elemental paciencia. and even out of patience. No porque me fuera aburrir Not because it was concierto. going to be boring for me, that concert. Pero oígame, eso de estar rodeado But de believe me, todo being el surrounded tiempo, of heads of state all the time is sometimes unbearable. Pero, pero sí les puedo asegurar I can assure you though que yo habría asistido a that la I would have attended a la que me habían invitado dinner, amablemente to which, los empresarios uh, I was invited by the uh, businessmen y no habría faltado jamás al encuentro con ustedes but I would have never failed to come to this meeting with you Porque lo primero que hice Because the first thing I did cuando se habló del programa when the program was brought up with me was to say that I wanted to visit the Teresa Hotel and that I wanted to have an encounter with you here in Harlem. Pero, pero nadie podrá decir que yo inventé una reunión. But nobody noche, will be able to say that I invented a meeting tonight just not to attend. Pero en otros lo que inventaron comida. Others have invented dinners and things. Y me excluyeron. And they have left me out. Y entonces yo tuve más tiempo. I had more time then. Tuve más tiempo, pude cumplir más. So I had more time free to be able deseo. to come and discharge my duty and my decision to come and see you tonight. Pero aquella vez. But that day, I mean, those were unforgettable days for me, the days when I came to the Teresa Hotel many years ago. There was such hostility. There was such a campaign against our country that I, I passed by one area and they did like this. Yo no sabía que decir aquello, I did not know what they meant by that, but I could imagine that it was something Something was wrong. Pero todo cambiaba cuando llegaba a Harlem. But everything changed when I came to Harlem. Todo el mundo. In Harlem you did this. Hoy hay algunos cambios, excepto algunos compatriotas nuestros que Today todavía no se han acabado de with convertir la causa of de la soberanía who have not yet become algunos, followers of the cause of sovereignty and independence, only a few. Van siendo menos. Actually, they are less and less. Gastaron dinero, gastaron de todo, they spent money y buscaron no sé cuántos recursos. And they, uh, found resources 
Me decía una periodista, ¿te sabes qué? A journalist was telling me this evening. Hay 58 protestas. Do you know that there have been 57 protests against you? Qué suerte I tengo said, yo que no he visto ninguna. I'm a lucky man, I have not seen any. <laughs> I don't know where she get the data, but I said, I have seen thousands of people saying hello. I have seen many people waving hands at me. I've, I've seen changes in the way people look at us. Remember that in those days when I came here first, uh, those were the days of the Cold War. Con la revolución recién nacida. The revolution was practically a newborn. Eso fue en el año 60. That was in the year 1960. Y me la vida imposible and then they hotel. made life very difficult for me in that hotel where I was staying. Un poco de I still had somewhat the mentality of a uh, guerrilla. Me voy para el so I said, de I'm going to set up a tent in the patio of the UN. En una casa de campaña I'm going to set up my tent there. And then it was said that we had the contact with the Teresa Hotel. I said there, there is something more strategic than that. I'm going to stay at Teresa Hotel. I knew that here I would have the heart of the neighbors of uh, Harlem. Era evidente la injusticia, era evidente la discriminación. Injustice was obvious, discrimination was obvious to me. Y como revolucionario, and as a revolutionary, I knew that I would be welcome in this neighborhood. Eso es lo que dijo Lincoln, se puede engañar. I heard, I remember what Lincoln said. A la gente, you can deceive a toda la gente una parte del tiempo. All the people, part of the time. A una parte Part of the people, part of the time. Pero no se puede a todo el mundo but not todo all the people, all the time. Pero ustedes fueron la parte de la gente. But you were the part of the people. A quienes nunca pudieron who engañar. were never deceived. Aquí con todo Rosamari las personalidades que vinieron. Rosemary here said all the personalities that came to visit me at Teresa Hotel. Leaders internacionales. International leaders. Que en muestra de solidaridad. Who in solidarity with me. Vino Khrushchev. Even Khrushchev came. Sí, Khrushchev fue uno de los primeros. Yes, Khrushchev was one of the first leaders who came to visit me. El jefe de una superpotencia. And he was the leader of a superpower. Le agradezco, le reconozco. I appreciated that gesture that he had. Khrushchev was a peasant. He was a very shrewd peasant. Simpatic. Very funny guy. And he did not dismantle his country, by the way. He became a leader, but after that, many of the leaders came Nero, to visit Nero, figura, one of the great leaders, historical, historical leaders, one of the great politicians, Nasser, and Nasser, Nekruma, and Krumah. Many great leaders came to visit me at the Teresa Hotel. De they rejected that gross maneuver no of hostility against our country. No, it, it did not pay no, off for anyone. Actually, it offered me an unforgettable memory and a reason for eterna feeling eternal gratitude hacia el pueblo norteamericano for the American people because I could see in you the best representative de las of the virtues de of the American people. Yeah. 
Se creó una historia. ¿Y saben cuánto tiempo hace de eso? And you know how long ago that was? 35 años. 33, 35 years ago. Así que se cumple el 35 so this is the 35th anniversary de mi visita. Of my visit, my first visit Lo increíble to this neighborhood. Now the incredible thing is que todavía me expulsen. that I'm still expelled <laughs> de las comidas, I'm de still las being left out of the dinners cosas. and the receptions and the banquets como si no hubiera cambiado nada. As if nothing had changed all these years. Como si todavía estuviéramos en la Guerra Fría. As if we were still in the days of the Cold War. Frío hacia acá adentro. It's cold inside. <laughs> But it's not a Cold War. No. Calor humano. There is human warmth. But the weather is uh, somewhat cold. It seems to be that the, that the church does not have funds for the uh, heat. It's really incredible that history is repeating itself that way. Yo tendría que hacerme otra pregunta. Now I would have to ask myself another question. Why is it con tanto respeto, con that tanto you are receiving respeto. us here with such great respect. Y eso tiene que tener una And there must be a reason for that. Tiene que tener una que si otros no han cambiado, nosotros tampoco. Because if others have not changed in their hostile positions, we have not changed either. Otros cambiarán. Others might change. Porque no tienen la razón. Because they do not have the reason. Y nosotros no cambiaremos. They are not right, más. but we will never change. Porque tenemos Because la razón. we are right. Y la mejor prueba. And the best evidence. La mejor prueba. The best evidence son are, is your presence here y el calor y el, y and el the warmth and the love with which you have received me here tonight. En el día de hoy. Y pienso que nuestro pueblo and I think that our people ha cumplido sus deberes has discharged morales, its moral duties. Ha cumplido con sus principios. It has discharged its... Uh, it, It has observed its ideals, its principles, con la solidaridad. and we have been in solidarity. La compañera Rosa Mary hablaba. Comrade Rosemary here sobre algunos de los esfuerzos spoke de about some of the efforts of international solidarity that Cuba has made. Hablo de médicos. She spoke about our doctors, Más de 15, cubanos, over 15,000 Cuban doctors have uh, worked as internationalist missionaries in other countries. Millones y decenas de millones de millions personas and tens of millions of people have been taken care of by our doctors, in Africa, in Africa mainly. In, America, Latin, in Latin America also, in and in other parts of the world. De de Hundreds of thousands of lives have been saved by our doctor's work. Miles y miles thousands and thousands of Cuban teachers and professors have trained technicians. Also, our technicians in many fields have gone to other countries to Cuba work. Cuba was left with only 3,000 doctors out of the 6,000 it had in 1959. 3,000 left. They were incited by best salaries here in the United States. However, nowadays we have 60,000. Y 
Y si un día los norteamericanos And if one day the Americans were to need doctors, yo sé que, que tienen mucho, I can tell you that we can give you. Mucho y muy bueno. We have many Pero si en algún good lugar, doctors. En algún rincón, we know that you have them, but if no in any médico, neighborhood you don't have a doctor, our doctors would come to work here. Doctor.